everyone. If you've ever wondered how you can give your credit score that extra push it might need, well, you're in the right place. Today, I'm diving into why having an authorized user on your credit card can be a game changer for your credit health. So buckle up and let's get into it. First off, what exactly is an authorized user? An authorized user is someone who is added to a credit card account by the primary cardholder. This allows the authorized user to have a card in their name and make purchases. But here's the kicker. The primary cardholder remains responsible for making the payments. Now you might be asking, how does this help my credit score? Well, when you become an authorized user, the account's credit history gets added to your credit report. If the primary cardholder has a long history of timely payments and a good credit utilization ratio, this can positively impact your credit score. Essentially, you get to piggyback off their good credit habits. Let's talk numbers. Say the primary cardholder has a credit card with a 10-year history of on-time payments and low credit utilization. Once you're added as an authorized user, this decade of positive credit behavior is reflected on your credit report. It's like getting credit for someone else's good homework. But here's a word of caution. This strategy cuts both ways. If the primary cardholder misses payments or maxes out their card, it could negatively affect your credit score. So it's crucial to choose someone reliable and with good credit habits if you're considering becoming an authorized user. Lastly, not all lenders view authorized user accounts in the same way. Some might give less weight to the credit history from authorized user accounts, especially if they suspect it doesn't accurately reflect your credit behavior. Therefore, while being an authorized user can significantly boost your score, it should be part of a broader strategy to build credit. There you have it, folks. Adding an authorized user or becoming one can be a powerful tool in your credit building arsenal. Just make sure to handle it wisely and always keep communication open with the primary cardholder. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into navigating your financial journey. See you next time.